is like PV equals nRT. Um, anyways, a sample of nitrogen gas stored in a 4 liter container at 32 degrees Celsius exerts a pressure of 5.0 atm. Calculate the number of moles of nitrogen. Okay, so uh, we've got a volume. 4.0 liters. Uh, temperature is 32 degrees Celsius, but we want to convert that to Kelvin, right? So we're going to add that to 273. That's so going to equal 305. 305, thank you. 305 Kelvin. And it exerts a pressure. 5.0 atm. Calculate the number of moles. So, and that's what we're looking for. <coughs> and we know R 0 0.0821 <coughs> moles times liters. No. I'm sorry, ATM liter mole Kelvin. You can figure that out eventually, anyways. Okay, so we use the equation PV equals nRT. Okay, and we're looking for N, right? So we've got to divide both sides by RT. RT cancels there. So we've got N equals PV over RT. So now we just plug everything in. So P, 5.0 ATM, times V, 4.0 liters, over R, which is 0.08. ATM times liters over one mole Kelvin. And you multiply that by 305 Kelvin. Okay, so now you just have to multiply and divide. So you see here, ATM cancels with that ATM, right? Liters cancels with that one. And then one over over something, so it's over over, it's going to be the inverse. So the Kelvin will cancel there. You can also think of it like this is its own problem, right? To where Kelvin's going to cancel. Okay? So now we've got mole over over again, right? So this is going to be moles out here. Okay. So now all we have to do is multiply this out. So 5 times 4 divided by 0821 divided by 305. And the number of moles I got is 0 0.8. Um,